found something really cute at Dollar Tree today and I saw all these items separately and in my mind I could already see them going together. So I found this material and believe it or not, Dollar Tree had the matching ribbon. <laughs> How cool is that? So we have the material and the ribbon. So when I saw this, I have to do something, I said. So I had this basket at home and I thought, how perfect would that be to make a liner for the basket and maybe put some of this ribbon on it. And as I was continuing through the store, I found these. Oh my goodness, looks like sea glass. How perfect for a nautical theme. So I picked this up and I got to thinking, I had this little mesh bag that some of the starfish from Dollar Tree came in. So I thought, how neat would it be if I use this little mesh bag and just put that glass right in there. That's a lot cheaper than having to buy, buy the fisherman's net. <laughs> so I figured I'll take this, tie a cute little ribbon around there and have a cute little nautical grouping there. So I'm gonna start putting this together and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I ironed out all the wrinkles from where the material had been folded. And then I just folded it in half, but I've placed the like sides together. Now, normally you would come in here and sew up your liner, but I want to show you that if you don't have a sewing machine, you can still do this kind of cute things with your glue gun. So we've got light sides together, and now all we have to do is come in and use our glue gun as if it was our sewing machine. You could also use the material glue that Dollar Tree has. I've used it before. It works really well. I, did, I have found that as you are using the glue gun though, you need to do like small strips or your glue will you know, dry on you. Now, just as in sewing, you know, when you're going to turn something wrong side out, you need to leave yourself just a little gap to get your hand in and be able to turn that right side out. Another thing we do is cut the corners. So you get a little bit of a sharper edge there when you are turning the item right side out. Okay, so now we're just going to turn this right side out. See how it makes a perfect little corner there by cutting off that excess material on the inside of your corners. Same thing right there. Okay, so we've got the three sides sewn up with a little bit on the fourth side, turned it. Now we just have to sew up this other area right here that we used to put our hand in and turn the material. It's pretty simple. I just like to turn one piece in as if it's hemmed. Get it stretched out there pretty good. Let's come in there with your glue gun and seal that up. And there we have it actually looks like it's been sewn. I do have some little stray strings here that I'll need to trim off. It turned out great. Now that the material piece has been hemmed up, turned right side out, it's time to apply it to this basket. So what I like to do when I'm placing it in the basket, it's pretty much just a style choice, but I drape the long sides over and push the center of the basket in. Try to get it in the middle there. Then what I'll do is I'll make a cute little finished edge right here on the side. If you can see that, I'm just, just kinda like a little folded over edge there. 
Just gonna hit that with a little bit of glue to hold it in place. We'll do the same thing to the other side. Just like a cute little, just a neat little fold there. That one with some glue as well. Yeah, you can see how the inside looks. It's nice and neat on the inside. Now we have these long pieces on the outside. So I like to turn those up a little bit and make sort of just a smaller rim on the outer edge of the basket. Let's see if I can kind of show you how to do this. And what I like to do is just bend a little bit of the corner in right there, then fold this under so it creates just about the size of the ruffle that you would want on the side of your basket. I think that looks pretty good. Now you can hit that with some more glue. Oh, just put a little bit of glue right there to hold it. The great thing about this too is, you know, gluing things with the glue gun, you know, it's not really a permanent thing. You know, as the season changes or your style changes, it doesn't mess anything up to take that glue off and start again, you know, with a new project. It doesn't even really mess up this material. So, you know, it's kind of neat that you can just use that glue gun and it's temporary. There we go. Now we have, well, I don't know if I like that. That might be a little too big for me. <laughs> I think I might make that a little shorter on the other side over here. So let's make this one a little bit shorter. I should pay attention to kind of hard to see when I'm doing it backwards, but let's get this one just a little bit shorter. Yeah, I think that looks better. So let's go with that one. Let's stick some glue on that. It's really just a preference of how you like it. A little more glue right here just to hold that in place. There we go. I like that shortness a little bit better than I do this long side. Let's redo this long side here. Now something that I do wanna do is I think I'm just gonna turn that into where it's just rounded on each corner and just secure it in place with a little bit of glue so I'll have all those little rounded corners. It'll look a little bit neater. So there it is. There's our cute little basket. I think the colors worked really well here. <laughs> okay, so the next item we're going to make to go with our cute basket is going to take this little sea glass jar from the store. And this is the little mesh bag, like I said, that all the nautical items that I may be putting in my, my basket came in there at Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna slip that over I'm gonna tie it with some ribbon here that matches the basket. Just a dab of glue here on the back. I'm gonna fold that ribbon down. It's a small rim to go around there. Hold that on there to get it glued. Let that glue dry a minute. Make sure that comes up. I'm going to trim that off afterwards. So I'm just making this ribbon. Since it's so small to go around, I'm just making this ribbon half the size. I just glue in it right there. Because it's just a little bit too wide to go around that lip. So I'm going to fold that in half. that around to the front. And just knot that up. 
Oh my goodness, how cute is that? <laughs> With our little basket here. <laughs> I just think that's adorable. They'd be so cute uh, sitting on a tray or you know, on your table with something inside the basket that's nice and nautical as well. So I think I'll show you a couple of things that you can put inside the basket now that we've got this little display completed. Of course, you would want a candle in this one. So then I'm going to show you some items that you can put in here. Okay, I have this paint here from Waverly called Agave. I think it's pretty close and would look really well paired up with this basket and this little candle holder that we've made. So I'm going to take this paint and paint a few items from Dollar Tree that I think will be really cute in the basket. So let's get this paint going. I figure I would paint one starfish, one sailboat, and one sand dollar. Now that these items are painted, they're ready to go in the basket. I will be adding some white elements in there as well of the same, the same items, just the unpainted ones. I think that will help with the colors greatly. Probably put a few more of these little starfish. I have placed one on the candle. Those will go in the basket. Now I took this nautical rope. I had talked about maybe putting the nautical rope around the basket, but I just really think that might be too much. So I just made a little tassel here, tied off the end there and just separated the threads to make this little tassel that I think will be cute in our basket. And finally, in another video, I showed you eight different ways to paint the wooden sailboat blanks from Dollar Tree. And I thought this might be a great opportunity to use one of those because there is some dark, some dark blue in that material as well. This was just another one that I had painted. So if you haven't seen that video, you should check it out. It's on YouTube and it's showing you eight different mediums to use to paint these sail boat blanks from Dollar Tree. So now the first thing we want to do with our basket before placing our items in it is put a little bit of filler in so it's going to raise the bottom of the basket up. Then our items that we took such great care to make are going to show in our basket. So the first thing I like to put in is uh, just some brown paper that just elevates the bottom of the basket right up there so then when we're putting our items in they're going to show. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that my favorite style is nautical. I always have nautical decor up in the summer. It's my favorite, whether it's for the ocean, for the beach, anything to do with the water, I just love it. So I always have lots of supplies on hand. And I do have this fisherman's net, and I think that would look good to put in the top of our basket to place all of our items on. Now, you could tie your own. I don't think Dollar Tree sells this, but they certainly sell the twine and you could tie your own fisherman's net. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you how I like to fill this basket and style it up right here for you. First thing I wanna do is start with the sailboats here in the back. They're gonna be sitting up. Another sailboat right here beside of it. And that is bringing in those two colors that are there on that ribbon. Okay, now let's take some of our blue items on this side. I did like having the back of this painted, so I think maybe we could sort of let that show. And we'll place two white items right in front of it. Like I said, all the while, you're wanting to kind of get your things placed on top of these, the netting so that they do stick up from your basket and it's, it's pretty easy to see. Okay, on the other side, we're gonna go with our starfish. Starfish are really cute because you can stand them up. <laughs> so we'll stand those up right there on the side. Maybe help hold that one sailboat up a little bit. It's wanting to fight me. 
to stand up there. Okay. Now let's take our little tassel. I think we should just tuck it right there underneath the sand dollar. Just pull that right around there to the front. How's it looking so far? <laughs> okay, so let me turn it around and see about where we might have some negative space. It's kind of hard to do this backwards, so let's see here. Fill that up a little bit there. Okay, I feel like that this section right here might be screaming for a cute little starfish in front of the sailboat. I think we'll just put the other one right here in the front. Take one quick look at that. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. And of course you can take your basket and play with it and get it exactly, you know, to your liking, how you like it. And I'll fiddle with this a little bit longer, but that's basically what our basket's gonna look like. I will have a photo at the end to show you, but now I think it looks wonderful. Our basket and our cute little candle holder we have here. I think that's making a cute table piece of decor to place in your home for the summer months. So I hope this inspires you to make something of your own using all these great Dollar Tree products. And I wanna thank you for crafting with me today. So long.